<clears throat> hey y'all welcome to my channel um hope y'all are doing great happy 2020 to everyone Whew, don't mind that light up in my glasses reflecting i'm not trying to blind y'all um today i do want to share with you an oldie but goldie i'm in this oldie but goldie thing um with my vera collection i bought a um saddle up bag in cafe latte um I'm not sure when this pattern came out. It was several, several million years ago. And they don't even make the saddle up bag anymore. I used to not really be into the saddle up. Um, this is the only one I own. And I, I haven't even used this yet. And I just bought this off eBay. Like around the beginning of December. Um, they don't make this anymore. So, I just saw, saw, you know, one on eBay. And I was like, let me give it a try. And see how it works out for me. Um... And Cafe Latte is an older pattern, of course. So, I haven't used this, like I said. And I threw it in the washing machine because I am a germaphobe and I try and get nobody's germs. Not saying that the person I bought this from was, was had the germs, but, I mean, you never know what people are going on in their lives. Um, I couldn't tell from the picture on the, um, on eBay, you know, the little photos, the wear it did have. It has a little wear right there i mean it's not bad though because the pattern's kind of darker um and then has this this like brownish caramel toffee color like coffee <laughs> you know what i mean um so it does you can't really tell the wear that bad um i just didn't notice like in the in the pictures and then like around the corners i don't know if you could see this or if i'm even doing it justice but just like around there um I like the bag. It's a little bit smaller than I thought it was. It does have a cross body strap. I, I forgot how to speak evidently right now. It does have a cross body strap. It's not a very thick strap. Um, but it's not super skinny either. It's, it's kind of the average a little bit, I guess. Um, on the front, I think it's really pretty. I do think this is a really pretty pattern. Um, a little close up for you. It has the hidden magnetic and you know what's funny is that because this is an older bag and I throw it in the washing machine the little magnet or the magnet thingy in here I don't know what you exactly would call that had got up in here and then so it wasn't really meeting the magnet part in here so it wasn't like going like closing and it was just like I was like this is not it was just flopping all around and I'm like this is not secure my wallet could fall out of here but before I made the video, I started messing with it some and I located the little magnet part in here and it's kind of loose and floats around in here. I don't know if it was always like that or maybe this is just because this is an older bag and I threw it in the washing machine that it just kind of got, I don't know if dislocated is the word I'm looking for, but discombobulated. So at the front, you can see we got like the saddle part. You got this cute little, little circle grommet. Thingy. I don't know what you call it. It's got Vera Bradley up there. It doesn't have any kind of pockets on the back. And it is a little smaller. I probably to carry this, I will have to, you know, slim down a little bit on some of my belongings. Because I don't like to carry like a work bag and a purse. Um, I call it a pocketbook. I'm from the South. That's what we call our bags here is our pocketbooks. Um, so I don't like to carry a work bag and a pocketbook. I don't like... Um, I just don't like to carry a whole bunch of mess. Like, in several bags, so I try to stuff it all in my pocketbook and you know, everything I would need, like, for work. And I mean, most of the time, I don't really have to bring a lot back from work and home because most I work at work. So, most of my stuff is there. But, you know, like, little things I would need at work to get through the day. Um, personal stuff. So, <coughs> excuse me, y'all. <coughs> so sorry. Um, so, I probably would have to slim down a little bit on a few of my things because this is not a super big bag i've heard this compared to um the amazing shopper said it, she kind of compared it to and she's a youtuber that makes great videos on vera bradley had kind of compared this to like the carson um <coughs> excuse me um that's out right now and i can kind of see that a little bit with the the two pockets up front kind of um but i think this is a little bit smaller than the carson because um, the Carson also has like a back slip pocket. Um, it just seems a little bit bigger to me. 
and that's just me personally but i really am looking forward to using this bag i do think it's really really cute it's in the cafe latte let's do a little little tour for you so when you flip it open you got these two pockets some generous pockets you can put your phone lip gloss whatnot and then inside you have a back zip wall pocket with this little zipper and then you have i don't know you can see it one two three slip pockets so it's like a good size bag don't get me wrong it's just a little smaller than i thought it was um i think this might be the next bag that i change into right now i'm still using the um cargo sling and pacini that i showed in one of my last videos um like i guess i don't really change out my bags but every like three to four weeks because it's just too tedious for me um so I think I might be changing out this weekend. I think this might be one that I use, um, like uh, like next. So if not, I'll still share with you which one I'm using. I'm gonna try and incorporate some like what's in my bag videos, more of those. I did one of those in my last video. I really love um, seeing what people have in their pocketbooks, like not like in like a I want to go through people's bags type thing, but just like I think it says a lot about who they are. <laughs> with what's in their bag. So I love watching those on YouTube, like what's in my bag videos. So I think I'm gonna start kind of incorporating a little bit more of those on my channel. Um, so I hope y'all like that. I'm about to do a few more videos on some things that aren't Vera, um, even though I, Vera's my love. But I do have a few things I do wanna share with you that I have discovered um, coming up as far as bags. Um, so look forward to those. Thank you so much. Welcome to my channel. Um, please like, share, comment, subscribe. I really do appreciate it. Y'all have a great day. Happy 2020. Um, hope y'all like this. Um, it is the Vera Bradley Saddle Up Bag in Cafe Latte and Oldie But Goldie for real. Um, it's a really pretty bag. I really like this. It's, it's unfortunate that I quit making it. It's really pretty. Um, so. Y'all have a good one. Thank you so much for watching. Ta-ta.